Protesters around the country are targeting statues they see as historic symbols of injustice. In the last week, three monuments have been pulled down in Richmond, once the capital of the Confederacy. CBS's Chip Reed reports tonight from Richmond. Late last night, Richmond, Virginia protesters brought down a statue of Jefferson Davis, the president of the Confederacy. On Tuesday in Richmond, one of Christopher Columbus was toppled and dragged into a lake. Another Columbus statue met a similar fate in Minnesota. Jefferson Davis just down the street, yep. president of the Confederacy. That's down. Could Robert E. Lee be next? He's on borrowed time. Julian Hayter is a yes. professor at the University of Richmond. Whenever there are moments of social unrest and, and racial upheaval, the monuments are always in the proverbial crosshairs. It's part of a nationwide movement against what many see as symbols of white supremacy. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is urging Congress to, quote, lead by example and remove 11 Confederate statues from the Capitol. This is a perfect time for us to move those statues. And NASCAR has sparked controversy banning the Confederate flag at events. Bubba Wallace, NASCAR's only full-time African-American driver, said it was long overdue. It's not that we're saying no other lives matter. It's what we were trying to say that black lives matter too. But driver Ray Cicerelli called the change political BS and said he's done with NASCAR at the end of the season. Here in Richmond, Virginia, the statue of Robert E. Lee has become a peaceful, multiracial gathering place. We talked to a lot of the people over there, and most of them said they want that statue to go, but they want the graffiti to stay, with many of them saying they believe the graffiti is a work of protest art. Nora? Chip Reed in Richmond, thank you.